Hey everyone, this is Daniel from What Obi Plays, and today I have another tutorial on how to merge your Nintendo Switch ROMs to save disk space on your Android emulation handhelds. As Windows emulation continues to mature with apps like WinLater, GameHub, and GameNative, preserving internal storage space becomes much more crucial, since these apps install your Windows games to that internal storage. I'm going to show you how to use a tool called NSC Builder, which will let us merge our base game and any updates or DLC into a single file. This makes them more manageable and portable across different Switch emulators, and we can also move them to the micro SD card. If you have one big micro SD card that you move between devices, now you can bring all your updates and DLC with you and not have to install them on each device. There's a lot that this tool can do, but I'll walk you through everything you need to know, so let's get started. You might ask, why should I merge my Switch ROM files, and are the benefits worth it? Normally, when you want to play Switch games on an emulator like Eden, you would load up a folder with your ROMs, and then your game would show up in the games list, and you can select and launch it, and that works great for the base game. However, updates and DLC are where this starts to become a pain. You can tap and hold on a game, then go to add-ons, and tap the plus button to find and install any game updates or DLC that you've ripped from your Switch, and these will be installed to the device's internal storage, and you have to do this for each game. If you don't have too many games and your internal storage is big enough, this might not be an issue for you. But if you only have, say, 128GB of internal storage, which is common on a lot of base models for these Android handhelds, then these game updates can quickly eat up your valuable storage space. I store my ROMs on a 2TB microSD card because my full ROM collection won't fit on the internal storage of this iNeo Pocket S2 Pro, which has a massive 1TB of storage. I'm currently testing a bunch of Steam games on GameHub, and I have over 800GB of games installed on my internal storage, so I don't have as much space to install all these Switch updates. Also, when you install an update, it only installs it for that emulator. I bounce around between Eden, Citron, and sometimes Yuzu since compatibility and performance varies depending on the game and emulator, and I would need to install those updates for each emulator I wanted to try out, meaning I could end up installing a game update two to three times, and these updates can sometimes be as big as the base game file. You also have to micromanage your update files where you put them on your micro SD card, install them to internal storage, and then delete them from the micro SD, and make sure you've installed the most recent update on each emulator and also uninstall the old update. Doing this for every game starts to add up and takes time away from actually gaming. The method I'm going to show you will let you merge everything into one file, and then it will be a self-contained unit that you can use in any Switch emulator and not have to worry about managing updates or DLC at all. So now that we've talked about some of the issues and benefits, I'll show you the solution. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we're going to use a tool called NSC Builder, and you'll need a Windows PC. Go to the GitHub link in the description box and download the most recent release. Once you have it downloaded and unzipped, go to the Z Tools folder, and you're going to want to copy the prod keys that you use for Eden or whichever Switch emulator you're using into this folder and rename it to be keys.txt. Then back out and double click on ncsb.exe to start the program. There are a lot of functions here, but we're only going to use one, which is the multi-pack mode, so type in the number 2 and press enter. Now we need to add our game, update, and any DLC files we have. The simplest way is to put all your files into one folder and then drag that folder onto the window and press enter. I have my game, update, and DLC in separate folders as an example, so I'll drag each one onto the window and make sure to press enter after each one. You can also use options 2 or 3 to have the tool open up a folder or file dialog so you can choose the folder that way, which might be more convenient for you. Once we have all our files and folders added, type in I and press enter, which will print out the list of files we've added so we can make sure we haven't missed anything. Here we can see my Final Fantasy Tactics The Evil East Chronicles base game first, then the update files, and then a couple DLC. Now let's do the actual merge. Enter 1 to start processing, and it's going to ask you how you want to pack everything, and you can either choose an NSP file, an XCI file, or both. I always choose XCI, but I'm not sure it really matters, so choose whichever one you want, but I will do option 2. Then it's going to ask you if you want to patch the required system version so it won't block you from running the game on older firmwares. This isn't really an issue for emulation, since it's so easy to install the latest firmware, so I will leave this alone and choose option 0. The last question it's going to ask you is how to merge the files, and I would always choose option 2, which is to merge everything by the base ID of the game. I'm not sure what the use case for merging multiple games into a single XCI or NSP file are, so I just choose the base ID option so that only files for that particular game get merged together, and I'll explain why that's useful later on in the video. So after you select option 2 and press enter, it's going to do some work and show you the progress of the merge. It shouldn't take long, and then once it's done, you can either choose 0 to go back to the main menu, or 1 to exit the tool. 
I'll use option 1 so I can show you where the merged files are. If we go back to the file explorer, inside the NSCB folder there's an NSCB output folder and that's where the tool will put the merged ROMs. We can see that the file name has the update version and the plus 2D here is for the two DLC files we merged in. I delete this last part because I always want my ROMs to have the same name since I sync my ROMs using sync thing, but you can leave it alone if you want because Switch emulators organize save files by the game ID, not by file name like RetroArch does. If we put this on the micro SD card and then load this up in Eden, when we long press on the game to show details and then go to add-ons, we can see both the update and the DLC show up, and we can toggle them on or off if we wanted to. This is the same as if we had manually installed these to the internal storage, but now it's all in that single XCI file. So now that we have our game, the update, and DLC all in one file, what happens when a new game update comes out? I have my Hollow Knight Silksong XCI which has the V109908 update merged in, and I have this new update with the V327680 tag. It's very straightforward to merge this new update into my existing XCI file. We just need to launch NSC Builder and enter multi-pack mode again. I'll drag my merged XCI file over and press enter, and then drag my new update file over and press enter as well. Then go through the same steps, and I memorize this pattern of 1, 2, 0, and 2 for the options, and then it will run the merge process again. If we look at the output file, we can see that the new file still contains only one game and one update file, but now it only has the new update. If we look at the original files, the base game is 2.32 GB, the first update is 432 MB, and the second update is 463 MB. If we add the base and second update together, that gives us about 2.76 GB, which basically matches the 2.77 GB of the merge file, so we know that it's only keeping the most recent update. So it's a very simple process to merge in any new updates or DLC, and we can just merge them directly into our single XCI file. It's very convenient. I mentioned earlier in the video that you should always merge files based on the base ID, which is the ID of the game, so let's talk about why. I've shown you the process for just one game, but what happens if you have a bunch of games? It would be a lot of work to go through all these menus for every single game you have, but there is a better way. If we put all our base games, updates, and DLC files into one big folder, and then drag that folder into multi-pack mode, we can merge them all at the same time. I'll start processing, and again I'll choose 2 for XCI, 0 to not patch the required system version, and then when I select 2 for the merge by base ID option, it will go ahead and take the files I added and merge them into 3 separate files, making sure that the right updates and DLC files go with the corresponding game. And if you're doing this with a bunch of games, it can really save you time. So in the end, my output folder has the 3 games with all the updates and DLC merged in, and it's pretty impressive what this tool can do. I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial, let me know your thoughts in the description box below that like button. I have been doing this for all my Switch games and keeping them on my micro SD card and it's been really great because that's just more space I have on the internal storage for Game Hub games. If you liked today's video, I am starting to make more tutorials in addition to my handheld reviews, teardown and modding videos, so subscribe if that's something you're interested in. Subscribing really helps my channel grow and I would greatly appreciate it. That's all I have for you today, thanks and have a great day.